Hi, today we are uh, going to make an optical simulation demo for designing a light guide. Light guides are generally in use in the field of automotive industry and consumer electronics mainly. But in other uh, different fields, you can see several applications. So today, uh, I will explain step by step how to create a light guide in Spheres. So how we will start is we need to go to Sketch tab and we will create an arc. Okay, the the distance will be sixty millimeter, and we create the arc. Okay. So in the in the spells, you can see the design tab, and inside the design tab, there is an optical part design. Inside that part, optical part design, you can see the light guide segment. So this is like guide demo one. Okay. So uh, also we should save the file before losing any data. Right. Then. Then. Okay. So then we need to describe the the curve, which curve we are going to use for our guide. So we click that and select the curve and tick. Then we need to select the direction of our light guide. Then it's ready to create it. But before creating, I will explain some more details. So you can create the general body type uh, as a circular shape or it can be constant profile and also you can use the only prism say, uh, option. So you can adjust the, the profile diameter from, from there, from this area and you can uh, create the distances for starting to create prisms from starting point to the end point. So you can give some kind of gap. So we will give just one millimeter gap in the end and one millimeter uh, in the end, one millimeter in the starting point. Okay. So there is some other uh, properties that you can modify the prism geometries. This is possible and uh, some radius you can modify uh, in the light guide prisms. Then you can create compute to create the light guide geometry uh, in spheres. So here you can see uh, the light guide basically this is the starting point of the light guide and this is the ending point of the light guide and we have created these prisms we can zoom in to see the system in more detail as you can see here is the prisms that we created in the in the light guide okay so we can go zoom out. So we have created the light guide geometry. Now what we need is we need a light, uh, we need a light source. So uh, I will add a, a LED in the uh, starting point of at the starting point of the light guide. Then we will uh, see the next steps. So for that. We need to uh, insert uh, another part. Okay, go to file. This is the 
to like that. Okay. So we have inserted the LED into our system. Okay. So LED is inserted here. You can see, I will show you better way. As you can see. So what we should do is in the step one, we need to describe the light source, light emitting surface. So our light emitting surface is this yellow part. So we need to describe the light emitting surface properties. So for that, we need to go to light simulation and click the surface. Then we need to select the surface. Yes. Now, this is the surface that emits light. So we can adjust how much lumens uh, of uh, output this LED uh, emits. So, so luminous flux can be around 850 lumens. Uh, the intensity type, you can modify it, but we will use Lambertian and uh, the LED full width half maximum viewing value is 90 for this example. So you can also change the, the spectrum from monochromatic to Blackberry or you can use a, a file from your library and you can adjust the, your wavelength too. So what we will do is we will use 540 for this example, 540 nanometers. Okay, so we have described the, the light source properties. Then we will go to uh, the structure tree to see all parts in our system. So as a next step, we need to describe the material properties. This is also very important. So uh, I, you just click this material properties, then you can rename this properties, PMMA. Okay. We will create a, a light source, a, a light guide that is made by PMMA or acrylic. So acrylic is kind of optical material, which has 1.49 refractive index value. And this is optically polished material. Then we just select this material, uh, this object and click so this material is linked with this light guide. Okay. Then what we can do is also we need to select the, the uh, LED to describe this material. It's basically a kind of uh, aluminum material, the outer cover. Let me describe also LED material. LED. This is opaque. Let me select the object. Okay. So also this is done. So uh, what we have done is we have described the, the light source. We have described the material properties. Then we can describe uh, sensors for our uh, system. 
sensors are also important. For this example, we will use Radiance uh, Director. So to zoom out to see where is the, the location of our director. So it is somewhere here, the director. We want to see the output in the end surface of the light guide in this example. So I want to focus our uh, director uh, to that area. So what we will do is we can move these arrows to increase or decrease the size of the, the light guide. So what we will do is we will make it smaller. It is a bit big for us. Then we can also move it because it's actually a bit big. Yes. We don't need to move it anymore. We just make the size a bit more smaller. Okay. So Okay, it looks quite good. We don't need to make the the director so big because we are not interested in other regions. We, we are interested in the exit surface of the light guide. Okay, there is a problem uh, because we are looking for from the other side of the light guide. We need to replace it. Yes. Yes. So we have just rotated it. See that. Okay. Now it looks much better now. Okay. So we have created the the director also. As a next step, we will do two different simulation in this example. So first one is a direct simulation and the other one is in interactive simulation. With interactive simulation we are able to observe the rays how they behave inside the light guide. In the direct simulation we will observe uh, the, the radiance map of the light guide at the exit surface. So, first of all, we clicked the direct. So, we need to describe which material, which objects are included in the simulation. Select which director is included. Then we clicked the simulation but we observe an uh, error oh okay okay there is a problem in led just make it optic okay then we need to go to simulation again and click yes now it is computing. So we will check how this director catch the rays. So for that, we need to go to Radiance, click right and open the viewer. So as you can see, there is more intensity level in the exit surface that area but a bit less in the in this region so you can also calculate how much uh, luminance 
in this specific area. For example, uh, it is it's two point one e plus zero seven candela per meter square. It's quite high. So you can make your uh, analysis by using this extended map that is created by spills. Okay, this is uh, the way how we can do the simulation uh, and uh, creating the light guides in uh, ANSYS spills. In other uh, way, in, in, in another uh, simulation way is interactive. I also want uh, to introduce that one. So for this example, we can select the object again. We can select the source. We don't need to select uh, the, the, the sensor, the director for interactive. We just click this. OK. So here you can see the rays. I just make these rays smaller. And ten. Okay. So we can go to we can zoom in to see how the rays are behaving inside the, the light guide. So it is not very clear for uh, for seeing uh, for observing the rays inside of the the light guide. What we can do is we can go to display section and we can change the color. Also, we can change the opacity. Then we can zoom in. Here you can see the rays, but for, for seeing them more clearly, what we can do is, and to the options, we can increase or decrease it. Hundred. We don't need to change it, but as you can see, it's much more clear now. It is visible for us to see how rays are behaving, how rays are having uh, interaction with light guide geometry inside the system. So as a summary, today we have described uh, a light guide and made a simulation for for uh, for ray tracing and observing the radiance map in the director and we also we are able to also observe the rays how they behave inside the light guide geometry so thanks for listening i hope to see you in another the uh, optical simulation demo by Hans Spells. Thanks for listening.